Oh. Woo! Woo! We on him, baby! We on him! There he is. We got him. That's it. Is that right? They spit it because we go right back in their home and say, look, give me some of that chicken. I want some of that chicken. Wow. Give me the chicken. Well, it's important to remember that this is a drinking water supply. So there are restricted areas, both for shore fishing and boats. Our boat today needed to meet the regulatory restrictions of a 25 horsepower maximum engine. So wait, I just can't put my, my dinghy in there? All said and done? No, no, no. They won't allow you. You do need to get your boat what's called sealed, and that's through the Department of Conservation and Recreation. Now what they're trying to do is really limit that cross-contamination of milfoil or invasive species. And that's just to save our drinking water. I like that idea. Sometimes rules are good. So if you gotta rent a boat, get here early, they go quick. <laughs> Big oh, fatty. Big fatty. Listen to that. Just... Oh, yes. oh my god, bro. Look at Wow. Pig, bro. Pig smallie. Oh my god. Wow. Look at the look at the markings on that. Beautiful tiger. Dude, that's nice. Look at the is that called dorsal fin? Bro, you know the spots, man. You know the spots. Drop off over there, so kind of casting over the drop off, bringing it back. We're on the middle of the lake, 15 feet of water. They were loving the gold, the gold blade. Right up the bottom, anything shiny catches their eye. Water temp, 56 degrees. So they're really starting to turn on now. They're feeding before they get into the beds. That's what you do before you get into bed. You want to get that energy, get that power box, you get that stamina, baby. So you get that stamina. Located in the heart of central Massachusetts, the Quabbin Res was built between 1930 and 1939 to satisfy the growing demand for clean drinking water. While several towns and an entire valley was flooded, it created an accidental wilderness where bald eagles can be seen nesting. More importantly for fishermen is the underwater environment that has flourished. Its cold water produces the state's best smallmouth fishery. Solid 18 bronze back. Tree marks the depth, so it's actually like a shelf. So it's like uh, 10 feet, and then it drops down to 30. So they're basically on the on the shore on the break line. And, uh, they're just waiting for everything to come right over and just. So just sit there and feed them. I just think they want something more natural. Just something a little smaller, not as, as so the blade bait vibrates. Yeah. So as it drops, it simulates a dead or dying gold minnow. But as you as you pull it up, it's got a vibration aspect to it, and that really drives the fish nuts. Now it can go either way. You can get them to come off the bottom come up from any depth and attack it, but at the same time, 
um, it could be too much. So today with the, the bright sun, I just think that they're a little more sensitive today and they're looking for just a smaller bait, not so much vibration. So going with the gold cast master, just kind of pumping it, basically simulating a live minnow and then it dies. Live minnow and it dies. And what happens? He dies, he dies. They'll, uh, they'll hit it on the, on the down when it's falling. Obviously the minnow's dying, so uh, something different. Try it out. I got one. You got one? You got one? Yeah. Nice. Huge mama, four pounds. Four pounds. Hold him. Where's he at? This is a definite net fish. Okay. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Whoa! What do you know about that, boy? Look at the size it is! Oh. Look at the size it is! Oh! Oh my to God! Your, come to your dad! Come to Papa! <laughs> Oh Woo! my! Oh my God! Smash them, kid. Bro, dude, this is what it's about. Bro. Wow! This is what it's about. You come out here. Wow, you put your dude! Work in, wow! You know what? And uh, you're out here, we're out here grinding. All gold, baby. All gold. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Taking the gold cast mask, the yellow tail, just dropping it, letting it sit. Sun's pushing them right to the bottom. I mean, this thing is mean. This thing is mean, baby. Oh, man. That's unbelievable. 20 inches. That's yep. a four even. Four right even. 20 inch, four pound smallmouth. Unbelievable. They flooded four towns for this, all right? Almost 70 years ago. No, nope, small no. That's a fat fish, bro. Laker. Now, small no. That is a massive fish. Look at the size. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.